What's up, Roska Nation? Welcome to a very special video. Our beloved friend Isaac is celebrating its sixth birthday. On the 28th of September, Edmund McMillan started developing The Binding of Isaac. And in celebration of this wonderful game, I wanted to do something special. So here are 100 things you did or didn't know about The Binding of Isaac. Also, I will spoil the story a lot, so please don't watch this if you haven't experienced the endings of the game. Alright, without further ado, ready, set, go. 1. The Binding of Isaac lore is based on a religious childhood from the creator of the game, Edmund McMillan. He quoted in an interview that in the game, the movie, that he lived in a very strict catalytic household and so Isaac was born. 2. There are a bunch of secret items you can obtain for bombing certain objects in rooms. For example, bombing an urn has a chance to drop coins or, if unlocked, a quarter, which grants you 25 coins. 3. Guppy was a real cat from Edmund and he actually died a couple years ago as well. Aww. 4. Most of the characters that you play as in The Binding of Isaac are Isaac himself. This has been confirmed by Edmund in the indie game The Movie when he stated that Isaac dressed up as one of the sinners that makes him feel right and comfortable. However, the Keeper, Lost, Blue Baby and Azazel are not costumes but actual states of Isaac's death or existence. The Keeper is the greedy dead part of Isaac. The Lost is a soul that left Isaac's body after leaving the chest. Blue Baby is Isaac's dead body suffocated in the chest. And finally, Azazel is Isaac's devil form. 5. A lot of the bosses in Isaac are a reference to Edmund's older work. Steven is a reference to the protagonist in Time Fjok. CHAD or Chad is a reference to Super Me Boy. Larry Jr. is a reference to Larry's Lemon. Brownie is a reference to a boss in Super Me Boy with the same name. Blackmaw is an enemy in Super Me Boy. Gish is the main protagonist in Gish. Sister Vis is one of the bosses in Gish. Little Horn is the name of a boss in Super Me Boy. Dangle is a reference to Honey Buckets in Gish. The Hound is a reference to Banshee Chops, another boss in Gish. Gertie is a reference to a level in Super Meat Boy. Carrion Queen is inspired by a level in Super Meat Boy called King Carrion. The Adversary is a reference to a level in Super Meat Boy called Adversary. Tria Shinit is a reference to an old 2006 Flash game made by Edmund for the original Isaac. The Lamp is a reference to the Wrath of the Lamp expansion for the I original Isaac. The Fallen shares his name with a level from Super Meat Boy. Ultra and Pride are basically Edmund McMillan and Programmer. Florian Himsel. 6. All the bosses and enemies in Isaac were going to represent Isaac in some way or another. According to Edmund, he said, quote unquote, originally every boss and enemy in Isaac was going to resemble Isaac in some way. This is the case for most, end quote. 7. Isaac is a big reference to the original NES, Zelda, as both games had the same dungeon styles. 8. Some items in Afterbirth and Afterbirth Plus are really special, as they were chosen by Reddit community members in the competition. From these ideas, Edmund chose a bunch and these were, yo listen, a reference to obviously the irritating Navi from The Legend of Zelda Queen of Time, Bomber Boy, a reference to Bomber Man as suggested by Kid Force, Bob Transformation and Spy Transformation suggested by Tim Mercury Slave, Bum Friend suggested by Keeper O'Furnier, Baby Gertie suggested by Hushard, Continuum suggested by Liam Vision, Euphoria suggested by The Mike Neto, Sticky Bombs, suggested by Bravo Art. Shiny Rocks, suggested by Bravo Art. Bursting Sacks, suggested by Sinsme. Super Tinder Rocks, suggested by Global Pro. Compound Fractures, suggested by Rainbow Prone. Sinus Infection, suggested by Gmoney Chunk 89. Chaos, suggested by Haddon Yu. Safety Scissors, suggested by C. Key Crash. Tear Detonator, suggested by Anemic Prod. And the list goes on. Damn, so many community ideas were put into Afterbirth without even knowing. Oh my god. 9. Using the missing post in the sacrifice room while using Isaac revives Isaac as the lost and unlocks the lost. This is a reference to the final rebirth ending of the missing post of floating in the wind. 10. The dice items in Isaac are all references to the dice used in Dungeons and Dragons, a game Adlan played a lot back in his childhood. 11. The tarot card names are the same names that a real actual tarot card uses in real life. 12. The heart donation machine is a great metaphor as this item can only be found mostly in arcades. It allows you to take your heart for coins so you can keep gambling that slot machine. Which is obviously a message from Edmund telling a game player gambling is like giving away your soul. 13. Isaac has a chance to find a devil deal or angel deal but did you know that it's actually another secret message behind this so beloved room in Isaac? As people are trying to get in devil rooms they sacrifice their hearts for stronger items. Which is actually a reference to the bible in which Lazarus gets conflicted with Pilatus asking Lazarus to crucify God and give money to Lazarus for doing such a horrible thing. Which is a reference to giving your soul to the devil for better items. 14. The bible kills mom and is equivalent in the womb etc. But did you know that the reason why mom dies when seeing the bible is because in the first ending mom gets killed by the bible because it falls on her head? Oh my god. 15. Always angry that you got butterbean again? Well, try to pick it up and if you're lucky you might get a- wait, what? 
which allows you to have an infinite bomb with instant recharge at all times. How good is that? 16. Forget me now pills are resembling pills that are used with elders when they want to end their lives. 17. The hourglass is a reference to Zelda the Phantom Hourglass. 18. Telepathy for Dummies is a clear reference to the Four Dummies book series. 19. Best Friend is actually a reference to a bug in the original Isaac where players go get glitch hits. 20. The Dead Sea Scroll is actually resembling a collection of 981 Hellastic period manuscripts found within a Dead Sea. 21. A lot of pills in Isaac have a clear reference to them like Amnesia, which is a reference to Amnesia, the loss of memory. Paralysis, which is a reference to Paralysis, the loss of muscle, muscle function for one of more muscles. Pretty Fly, which is a reference to the praise. Pretty Fly. Pheromones, which is a reference to pheromones in which chemicals trigger social responses in, mem in members of the same species. One, more, one makes you larger and one makes you small, a reference to Alice in Wonderland. Perks is a reference to a street name for the prescription drug per Persocet. Relax and Xlax pills are reference to Lexatives. The Feels Like I'm Walking on Sunshine pills are reference to the 80s song Walking on Sunshine by Katrina and the Waves. Power pills are reference to Pac-Man. Balls of Steel are a reference to Duke Nukem and this is one of his famous quotes. 48 hour energy is a reference to the 5 hour energy drink. Hematemesis is a reference to hematemesis, which is vomiting blood. The Vault Pill is a mixture between vomit and burp. Are you a wizard? I found pills and I can see forever all references to image macro memes. I'm excited is a reference to the song I'm so excited by the Point Sisters. Bad Trip is a reference to using drugs with a bad side effect to them. And Lemon Party is an internet shock side featuring a group of old people performing anal sex. Great to know. 22. As a lot of people know, anti burp is a big part of the Isaac community, and so Eben paid homage to one item from them. Jacob's Ladder, which is a reference to anti burps Jacob's Ladder, which made the ladder in the start room to the Angel Room. Plan C is a reference to the morning after pill, originally called Plan B. 24. There are a couple of bosses which have multiple evolutions. Little Horn first, Dark One after that, and Anniversary after that, and then Big Horn. Rackman and Rack Mega, Gurglings, Gurgly Jr., Gardy and Mama Gurdy. Turtlings, Dangle and Brownie, Monstro, Monstro 2, and Loki and Loki. 25. Some bosses in Isaac are references to Nintendo franchises. The, the Hound and the Forsaken are a reference to Booze in Mario. Pin, a reference to Lan Molas for The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Polychephalamus, a reference to Duck Trios from the Pokemon franchise. And Mask of Infamy, a reference to Camilla from Castlevania 2. 26. Gertie and Mask of Infamy are female. 27. Monstro is missing a tube, which is a reference to the Monstro tube item found in game. 28. It lives is actually Isaac Fetus when he was still a fetus. 29. The womb represents the inside of a human body, not the vagina. Also, the music for the womb Vichera represents the internal organs in the body. 30. The stitches on the walls of floor and scaled womb resemble the fistula boss. 31. The shopkeepers are a reference to the old man in the original Zelda on the NES. 32. The burning basement might be a reference to the basement getting destroyed by Isaac's imagination and getting more darker after defeating more enemies. 33. The Necropolis level in Isaac is a large Asian cemetery, elaborate tomb monuments in real life, hence the name Necropolis. 34. Blue Womp is referenced as a floor by the game but only contains four chairs, two locked doors, a shop and a boss fight with Hush. 35. Hush is a reference to the moment Isaac starts to suffocate in the chest, as the animation shows a head coming out of the ground, screaming in pain, and four steps gets darker as his health decreases. 36. The Hush fight is Isaac fighting his own suffocation, as the fight starts when Hush is blue baby, and after that changes into his true form. 37. The chest and his boss question mark question mark question mark are based on the in-game backstory of Isaac locking himself in his toy chest and asphyxiating to death. 38. The shadow cast that you see on the floor on the chest most likely represents Isaac's head while opening the chest. 39. Blue Baby is a reference to Edmund's Dead Babies collection on Newgrounds. 40. It is implied that the different forms floor, floors from chapter 1 to 6 of the Void are just Isaac's hallucinations, as the Void's icon on the progress bar after advancing to the next floor is a red vortex, and the floor graphic below the cut player character and bosses in via in versus screens is red as well. 41. The music played in Void is a remix of the boss themes, title screen theme and the burning basement. 42. Delirium is Isaac's insanity going crazy. 43. The cathedral is almost the same as the basement, meaning Isaac is just imagine, imagining the basement becoming a cathedral. 44. The Switch version of Isaac contains all the content but unlike the PC version, everything must be unlocked uh, for Afterbook Plus and the Boots Effect items. 45. The Five Nights at Mom achievement is a reference to Five Nights at Freddy's. 
46. Isaac got quite some Pokemon references, here are some. Pokego, a reference to Pokemon Go. Friendly Ball, a reference to the Pokeballs used in the, in the franchise. Description of the cube of meat says gotta meet them all, a reference to the tech line of Pokemon. Mystery Gift, a reference to the Mystery Gift in Pokemon games. Pokemans, which is a challenge in Isaac and a world play on Pokemon. Jaw of Flies pickup quote references gotta catch them all, but with a question mark. GB Bug is a reference to the famous bug Missing No in the older Pokemon games. Missing No is a direct reference to the infamous Missing No glitch in Pokemon. The Lump enemies from Womp are a reference to Diglets from Pokemon and the Metronome is also a reference to the Pokemon franchise. 47. Even Mario got quite some references in Isaac, like Magic Mushroom which is a reference to the famous Mushroom pick Power Up. Bobby Bomb, a reference to Bomb Bombs in the Mario games. How to Jump, the cover references the original cover of the Super Mario Bros game on the NES. Cannot leave, the costume gives Isaac a fluffy tail which resembles the Tanuki suit from Super Mario Bros 3 on the NES. 1-Up, clear reference to the 1-Up from the Mario franchise. Wizoops, which are references to Boos from Mario. Mini Mush, a reference to the Mini Mushrooms from, Mario from the Super Mario series. Fun Guy of Transformation, which is a reference to Toad. Dry Baby, a reference to Dry Bones from the Super Mario Bros series. Mask plus Heart could even be a reference to the Shy Guys from Super Mario. And the, fruit, and the Fortune Teller Machine is a reference to the quote I Feel Asleep said by the Fortune Teller in Super Mario Bros on the NES. And Liberty Cap, a reference to the 1-7 uh, level in uh, SNES title, Yoshi's Land. 48, but the, the one with the most references is obviously The Legend of Zelda. Here are some. Chup, a reference to Don Dongos from the NES Legend of Zelda. The name from Wizoop is a reference to Wiz Ropes from The Legend of Zelda. The compass icon is the same icon as used in the first Legend of Zelda game. Treasure maps are a common item in Legend of Zelda. The boomerang is a reference to the boomerang used by Link in the series. Pin is a reference to La Mola, a boss in Legend of Zelda linked to the past. One of the rules on the rule cards read Don Dongos dislike smoke, a reference to the Don Dongos from Zelda. The ladder is a reference to the item used in The Legend of Zelda on the NES. Hyrule is a challenge that gives Isaac the item from Link, and Hyrule is also a reference to Hyrule, the region where The Legend of Zelda takes place. Dips are a reference to Gel's enemies from a, Legend of, from a Link to the Past. The Candle is a reference to The Legend of Zelda. Isaac's bedroom is a reference to the inside of Link's house in A Link to the Past. The Night is a reference to Darknet Knights from Zelda. One of the decorations on the floor and shawl represents a Triforce, a relic, no, a relic known in The Legend of Zelda. Slides are a reference to the spikes from Legend of Zelda. Crawl spaces are, di are direct visual reference to the treasure room in, in the Legend of Zelda on the NES. You'll listen is a reference to Navi from Ocarina of Time. And the I Am Arrow room is a reference to the Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, where a citizen from Ruto introduces himself with I Am Arrow. And finally, Mom's Hand is a reference to Wall Masters from Legend of Zelda. 49. There are always 12 pills chosen from the pill pool for each run, so you won't find every single pill in one run. 50. Edmund McMillan sees Isaac as representing him as a child. 51. Pills are part of Edmund's childhood because he ate a lot of them when he was 3 years old. 52. Isaac has no hair because his mom shaved his hair, confirmed by Edmund. 53. The shadow at the end of the final cutscene is Isaac, as confirmed by Edmund. 54. The Isaac fight represents Isaac as sent after death, confirmed by Edmund. 55. Isaac's head is so big just for the simple fact that he can see his items. 56. Delirium wasn't part of the story in the beginning of Rebirth, as confirmed by Edmund. 57. Edmund's favorite soundtrack from Isaac is the Cathedral soundtrack. 58. Cricket is Edmund's third cat. Tammy was the cat that he got after the end of the indie game The Movie, and Max doesn't even exist. 59. Delirium is a metaphor of the light at the end of the tunnel, while Hush is the unborn, stillborn Isaac that Isaac should have been, aka Blue Baby. 60. The Bloat is a reference to the Melvis.com soundtrack, The Bloat, Edmund's favorite band. 61. Isaac is a boy, but he's confused about his gender in game. 62. Dark Bum wants to kill you and he likes hearts. 63. Brother Bobby is based on the baby doll Edmund owned in his childhood named Bobby. 64. It took Edmund 3 months to make the original Isaac, 6 months to make Rev of the Lamb, 2 years for Rebirth, 1 year for Afterbirth and 8 months for Afterbirth Plus. 65. Jesus Loves Me is a Christian song featuring the original Isaac after beating Blue Baby, which is more distorted than normal. 66. Edmund's least favorite item is Mom's bat. 67. Greed is the sin Isaac has become in game, hence the facts why it's represented so much. 68. Hush is blue baby, according to Edmund. 69. Gemini were bosses cut from Gish called Searcher and Contusion. They were conjoined twins who are dead, as answered by Edmund on Twitter, to me. 70. The converter item is a power and plug converter. 71. Cothead is a reference to the Illuminati. 
72. Raph is not immune to bombs because he's chaotic. 73. Emma's favorite items in Afterburn Plus or Afterburn Plus are Void and Smelter. 74. Emma's favorite character is The Lost. 75. On inspiration for The Binding of Isaac were Spelunky, Quell, and Smash TV. 76. Rackman is based on an old character design called Ghost that Emma made years ago, and the name is based on the Magic the Gathering card. 77. Emma's favorite floor is Shaw. 78. Emma's favorite boss is Duke of Flies. 79. Isaac never had the system, so no, Maggie is not Isaac's sister. 80. Spider Baby is a reference to the movie Spider Baby. 81. Ipecac is based around the time when Edmund got his stomach punched when he was 3. As a result, he started eating a lot of pills and from there he used Ipecac as a remedy. I used, I asked him this for the Ipecac episode so I was really happy when he replied to me about that. 82. Edmund's favorite OG Isaac item is said Onion. 83. There are now over 529 items in Atabur Plus. 84. The most hated boss in Isaac is obviously the Bloat. 85. The most hated enemies are the Brimstone and Laser Eyes from Womp and Shaw. 86. All the characters featuring in Isaac are sinners. 87. Apollyon is actually called Abaddon, also known as the Destroyer. 88. Apollyon is also a reference to Abaddon, which is the item in Isaac. 89. Evan McMillan was not sure Isaac will become what it is today, as he was really, really disappointed about how he made it and he didn't even expect it this huge success for the game. Number 90. Uriel and Gabriel are based on real angels from the Bible. 91. Heartbringers all represent Heartbringers from the Bible. 92. Stigmata is a reference to Jesus' crucifixion. 93. Anti-gravity and more items can decrease the tear cap just like cancer. The trinket cancer. 94. There are over a quadrillion possible synergies in Isaac so far and more and more come daily. 95. YouTuber Northern Lion is responsible for the success of Isaac, as he started Let's Plays when the game was still not known. 96. Eden can never have more than 3 hearts. 97. There are 3 hidden stats in Isaac. Tier height, that determines the height of, the, of a tier. Tier delay, which depends the delay cap between tiers and if it can go under 5. And knockback, a stat that determines the distance that the enemy will go when getting hit. 98. Stonies can only be killed by with the Chaos card, Intanasia and Little Horn. 99. The enemy with the most health in Isaac are Oops, which that appear in later chapters. And number 100, the Tick is the only trinket in Isaac with a costume. And there you have it, 100 things you may or may not know about the Binding of Isaac. I want to thank Admiral McMillan for 6 years of this amazing franchise. And let's hope that Isaac will stay here until the end is nigh. Anyways, this was Broski Plays. Thanks for watching and stay Broski.